Hello everyone, I'm MVL and in this video we're going to be unboxing Critical Roles, Factions of Wildmount, Dwindalian Empire box set from WizKids. Very excited to open up this box set of D&D minis, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here is the box set. As you can see, I got it for a reduced price right here, which was very cool. Got this from Happy Piranha in Tro, which had a bunch of reduced D&D &D and Pathfinder minis and all of that kind of stuff, which was very cool. Critical Role box set right here for the Factions of Walmart, Dwindalian Empire figures. So as you can see, bunch of miniatures in this box set. The interesting thing I think about the packaging here is the Dungeons and Dragons logo is on a sticker. So seemingly an afterthought, the requirement for the D&D &D logo on this set from Critical Role made by WizKids. We'll have a look at the box set right here, which has some 3D renders of the miniatures, which are pre-painted inside. We'll see how they compare. But I'm very excited about this, especially for the price. There's a lot of miniatures in this set. So let's go ahead and open this up. Looks like we can open it from here with some sellotape that has kept it together. Easily done with the scissors there, so we'll open this up. Bunch of medium sized figures in this set. Very nicely positioned actually, nice backdrop in here for these minis. And they're all on transparent bases as well. So it looks like this is going to be fairly easy to get out of here actually and you could probably if you wanted to you could keep this as a mounting piece for these minis or backdrop with the map style interior pretty cool all right so we'll see how these miniatures look individually how the paint job is very cool i mostly got these to use as character models for either my players or as NPCs, non-playable characters, or perhaps maybe encounters, but they're all very good looking and unique looking miniatures. This is just cardboard as you can see, so we'll just, looks like we can just pop these out of here. And we will do so. So, they actually do come away with a little bit of force, I don't want to break the miniatures getting them out of their seal. So they're just they just popped in there. Here's the first one. With an axe there. Very cool looking mini. Paint job is pretty good on most of these as they always are for these pre-painted miniatures. Sometimes you might want to touch up the paint job a little bit with some of the minis. Now, if I really wanted to, I could detach this plastic from this cardboard and it'll probably be a little easier to get these out as it stands. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid was gonna happen, trying to take these out. Um, so one of them did come free, obviously by itself. But then this one completely, we'll have a look at this one, but this one broke off the stand. It looks like I will be able to put it back on the stand. As you can tell, there's some pegs for the feet. But I was a little nervous about that. So it looks like I will be breaking this so I can pop them out from underneath. If you do pick this up, I would definitely advise doing that. That's a little unfortunate, but I think, I think that was kind of a trap there. I think I fell into that and I wouldn't have necessarily no and I had the inkling that that might happen but uh, so this is a spellcaster as you can see with the uh, it looks like electrical energy coming out of the hands there I will be able to put that back on there I'm pretty sure but I fell into the trap there I wouldn't have known that for sure without oh you know now I can see that I can actually get my fingers behind here and push them out that way okay well we've got this other one out you know, this is what happens in an unboxing. So this is a knight. Very good looking miniature, holding their helmet with their sword behind them. Sword is a little bendy. That happens 
quite often, you can use a hair dryer and sometimes you can use a combination of hot water to make the material a bit more malleable and then cold water to set it. But I often find that if something is bendy with this material, this resin, it will stay bendy. But we'll reset back to that. So I'm going to push them out from below, which I should have done before. But still, you know what? I might prefer the regular packaging to this, to be fair. This is a noble type character with a jacket on the shoulders. Pretty cool looking. Could be a could be a royal. Could be an important NPC. I've watched every episode of Critical Role actually, but I have a memory like a sieve, so if these are a particular NPCs I don't recall. I'm not gonna grab the feet of these minis. But they are really stuck in there. To push them out. Looks to be a lizard folk here. Or perhaps a dragon worn. Could use it as Eva as a character. Maybe a barbarian, although armoured with a big hammer there. Good looking model as well. All these models do look really good. I've only noticed minor painting issues. Obviously, the model here that broke is an issue, but I can fix that with a bit, little bit of glue. I should probably take that stand out, but I'll do that later. We have a furbolt here. These bigger models, I'm less afraid of them popping off the stands. And to be fair, I think I was probably lucky with the first model not doing so in the first place. Yes, to be fair, so in hindsight, if you get the set, I would probably just cut these out of these bases rather than... I would probably use scissors and just cut these out. <laughs> Something I fell into, but I couldn't have known without doing it. I mean, I did have that English suspicion, but... Uh, so a fur bulk here. Could be a spellcaster with a book. Could be a scholar. Good looking miniature. In these... Robes, this attire. I like that miniature quite a lot. We have a, uh, what looks to be a dragonborn here. With a tail. These are, these, I guess that miniature had flying. These are really difficult to get out of the packet, I will say. And that one has gone far across. <laughs> it flew pretty far. But I have grabbed it. There we go. Alright. Okay, so there's that. Looks to be a yellow or perhaps a golden style dragonborn, depending on the paint. Sword here. Pretty cool model as well. Always good to have these type of models for your player characters. For some of the interesting choices for characters. We have a Captain of the Guards perhaps here, or another Noble. I'm going to try and push it out from below again. See, now I notice that there's holes directly underneath them that I could have just popped them out from. But yeah, these are actually very difficult to get out of the packaging. I think maybe I would prefer the regular packaging that you get with other WizKids minis. Now I notice another issue here. And I think I noticed this when I picked this up, that this arm is definitely... Can I move this? No. This arm is glued in the wrong place. You might not be able to tell super easily, but this is definitely far down from where the shoulder should be. And the, the helmet and the head might need a little bit of repainting. They are a little, a little off. But that can happen. These aren't advertised as hand painted their advertisers pre-painted so i'm not sure how i would go about fixing that but i did notice this when i grabbed this we'll take a look at the actual mini there you can tell that the helmet isn't quite right and that the arm is definitely misaligned at least it looks misaligned to me it looks like it should be further up maybe it's missing a piece it doesn't doesn't 
The arm doesn't quite look right. Anyway, there you go. Out of, you know, this many minis, nine minis, only having one wrong and then one obviously broken, but I guess you can see that's user error, but I feel like I was set up for that. Alright, I'll get this last one out. We'll try to. This one's in a particularly awkward place. And that one went flying as well. Right. Not a fan of how these were put in there. I mean, obviously it could be a user error, but, you know. That one didn't go that far away, though, so I can find that one back. And this looks to be a dwarf, I want to say, with the beard. Typically. Foraging or farming could be a good NPC. Those red robes. So there you go. The critical role miniatures. Exandria Unlimited Dwendalian Empire. I will get the base out for this actually. And I think. I mean, I think I can just glue it back into place. I don't need to be very gentle, but there were tabs on the, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely broken from there, but there were tabs in the feet here, so I think, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> it went flying again, but I can, I can, I can glue that back on. It might, my, my concern would be if it frosts up the base from the, sometimes glue can frost up what it has glued to but then it better be not being on the base that's gone flying this time third time's a charm i'm not going to go fetch that but anyway a bunch of great miniatures two out of the bunch that might need a little work i'm not sure if this one is just a little off or if it is mismade so It'll be interesting. I'll have to look up imagery from what these normally would look like, but it seems to me like the arm looks a little odd. But other than that, you know, for the discounted price, these are pretty good. And sometimes it can be that the time you save not painting them yourself can sometimes be taken up by repairing. But, you know, this was an unboxing video we went into this not knowing what they would look like and it was pretty cool the models that i do have here are very nice the quality uh, for the most part is very good and these are definitely some models i can see myself definitely using so i'm happy about that and it is great to get them pre-painted great to have the option to have them pre-painted so you can have these miniatures without using up uh, your time to paint them. Sometimes I do really enjoy painting miniatures, but for the most part, when you're gonna be using a lot of miniatures, it can take a long time. I paint Warhammer miniatures and it takes a long time to do that, at least it does for me. So it is good to have the option to have these miniatures pre-painted and pre-assembled as well. But there you go, Critical Role, Exandria Unlimited, Dwindalian Empire miniatures, unboxing. Wow, it was a ride! Well, I'll get these fixed, and I will most likely use these in a game at some point as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking this out. I have been MVL, and I will catch you next time.